Oh, hello, friends. My name is Ian Ward. Sometimes I go by Liam Tiberius Ward on Dinternet. And this fashionable looking scar right here with the um, Mad Max looking haircut is uh, was caused by brain surgery for something uh, for a tumor called a glioblastoma which is fancy talk for a big blob of brain cancer <laughs> and you know it's the real stuff it's the real cancer because it got a big c stamp of approval right there on the side of my head statistically this will murder me in one to five years, so... Now, with such little time remaining, I have decided to focus as much as I can of this channel on still crudely entertaining people, but also raising enough charity money uh, for cancer research to break the world, the Guinness World Record for an individual raising money for charity. Now, the, uh, the event that is the most fitting for me that I have uh, come across was a, a marathon run, run, uh, run by a Steve Chalky. Yes, Steve Chalky. And he raised $3.6 million, which is incredible. And, but I want to smash that. I also looked at a video game character running a marathon record, which is two hours and 57 minutes. My best time for uh, a marathon at the London Marathon, which Steve also did, um, was three hours, 33 minutes. So both of those things in my head seem very, very difficult. I'm no idiot in thinking this is gonna be easy, but just about achievable if I laser focus um, everything that I have on doing these and also a giant amount of help from anyone who is now currently watching this. And if you think about it, breaking two world records simultaneously is way better than getting to 40. 40 sucks! Now if you want more detail on uh, what this is, how it came about, how I discovered it and all that sort of stuff, I will be putting posting a second video. I'm also going to be releasing uh, footage, blurred out footage, of um, me talking to my my doctors, and that's for the people who want to want more more of the sort of gruesome details, or if they just think that I'm lying like a mattress and they want to have some sort of uh, legitimate backup. Now, if you think about it, cancer research probably affects the most amount of people universally all around the world. One in two women it will get cancer in their life and one in three men will get some form of cancer in their life. It's inflicted upon people all around the world fairly evenly, uh, regardless of your wealth, regardless of your race, regardless of your sexual orientation or your beliefs. It's basically the real world version of Thanos in how it chooses who to go for. At random, this passion is fair to rich and poor alike. However, very similar to Avengers Endgame, even if your body goes unaffected by cancer, it's still so likely that someone near and dear to you is affected by it. And sometimes people just get taken sooner than their lifespan should be. And when that happens, people that are closest to the person who's died, it damages them so much that it's almost like time is never enough to actually close uh, to fully heal the wounds properly. Now, unfortunately, the difference between uh, reality and Endgame is we don't have a Tony Stark character who can build a time machine, use it, and uh, go back in time, pull a Russell Crowe on cancer, and make everything all better. Well, we couldn't find cancer, but we found a man with cancer! Take that, <coughs> cancer! And that! <coughs> However, and cue uplifting typical uh, YouTube hopeful music. Uh, we do have a load of people that exist on the earth that are almost as super intelligent as Tony Stark. And what they do is every single day, they make progress to uh, make cancer more detectable, make cancer more treatable, make uh, the quality of life for cancer that's gonna kill you anyway better. Um, and in some rare cases, just straight up cure cancer. 
So I don't think there's a person alive that, you know, if they can, shouldn't give money to cancer research because it's practically like family and self uh, health insurance. Now to get this world record fundraising, I have a torrent of ideas to, uh, you know, keep people who uh, follow the channel and are involved in this like engaged and entertained and keep, uh, keep them donating. So, like, little ones that I'll sort of uh, uh, read out to you. Ah, the 24-hour video game thing is uh, how many computer games could I beat in that, uh, in those 24 hours. Auctioning off uh, a layer of my skin, <laughs> and um, it's less macabre than it sounds, and then uh, whoever bids the highest amount gets a tattoo of their choosing done on that part of the body. No matter how much I don't want it done, if they've bid the most, they get it. Oh yeah, here's one that I like. Um, I get on a treadmill and I run a marathon, probably slowly, fairly slowly, but while playing a computer game that involves running around. So think Red Dead Redemption, Skyrim, maybe a bit of Pokemon. And now I could do that anywhere. I could do that at E3 and you know, have it live streamed with cameras. Uh, I could do it at E3, I could do it at maybe Comic-Con, I could do it in uh, Leicester Square if those sort of big events aren't happening, anything like that. And if you have, if you want to comment and you want to give me advice, like, you know, it's probably a bit too late for, hey, shave your head. But if you come up with a good idea for a good way to raise charity, something unique, something funny, I will do it. So if you have an idea, please do share it with me. But the first and most vital step that needs to be taken is by you, the viewers. Like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I know that's a bit cringy to ask that, but just do it, it's for a good cause. Then, get 10 pricks to do the exact same thing, and share it around. Share it on multiple platforms. The more that this gets spread out to uh, different sort of avenues, the better. So, do your Facebook, do uh, Twitter. I never use Twitter, so that'd be a big help for me. Twitter, MySpace, Tinder, uh, OnlyFans, whatever you have, uh, a sort of any kind of an audience do that. This goal doesn't come close to uh, achievement without having a very, very large audience. Uh, as an example, if everyone was to give five quid, which isn't expensive, a student could give five quid, um, I'll need 735,000 to do that. So those mathematics alone should be enough to give you uh, a grasp of how vast the audience needs to be in order to get enough people that will one, uh, listen, two, care, three, care enough that they donate, and four, which at this stage might actually somehow be more important than number three, uh, to share it with people. And the reason that the sharing thing is so important in my head is because if this gets to, say, uh, someone rich and famous with a lot of, um, you know, people that follow them on some form of social media. Then, if that person wants to support the, this, this cause as well, one, a donation from someone rich is probably going to be like 10 grand or something. And then also, like, a big name on YouTube, if they get that, uh, they've got way more people that are going to follow this, even, like, if this video gets trending. It's just, it's never going to have the same amount of influence as, you know, as someone huge. And so then all they have to do is, like, give props to this video or whatever you'd call it. And then the amount of people that are on their channel, straight away, a load of them will siphon into the big pot of charitable gold that I'm trying to collect. So it makes a huge difference, the sharing part. Uh, you might think this is a straight up pyramid scheme and it's just another bad case of, you know, someone attempting to do like, you know, find Coney 2012, except this video isn't edited or like professionally shot in any capacity. And you're pretty bang on the money with that. But just because you are 100% accurate in thinking that I'm milking my sad story for a sort of, you know, like and subscribe if you cry. Uh, that doesn't mean that this is not a good cause for charities that you, you're familiar with, charities you trust, uh, some charities that have been bettering the world for nearly over a century. It's really quite <laughs> incredible. That said, I still want to beat the shit out of both of those world records. So I don't die having achieved nothing other than uh, making a lot of my friends and family belly laugh at jokes every once in a while. I'd be happy out with that 
if I was, you know, dying at the average age of an Irish person at, you know, 81.96 with a battalion of grandkids. But uh, unfortunately, it's more likely that I won't make it to half of that. So you could argue that uh, all of the poor decisions that I made through puberty could be looked at as my version of a midlife crisis. So remember, if you want to help uh, in order of ascending importance, number one, like the video. Number two, leave a comment. Leave anything. If you leave a question mark, good. If you leave a, a, a full stop, fine. The earth is flat because of 5G towers. He's too handsome and sexy to have a brain tumor. Hey, yo bro, cancer did 9-11. He moves his hands around like a fag. Yeah, it all helps the YouTube algorithm, so it really doesn't matter. I think even disliking does that as well, but you know, <laughs> don't be a p Three, share this shit with as many people as you can. So do it with multiple demographics because uh, once it gets going in another group, then it's easier to spread within that group. So uh, go with older people, uh, go with people in uh, sports teams that you're connected to. You know, you might be in a running squad, a cycling team, rugby team, whatever. Um, then, uh, or different countries, you might have gone holiday with a lot of people in New Zealand and, you know, use your little connections out there because they can then start spreading out with New Zealand a bit more. On and on it goes. Just keep trying to spread the shit around like it's butter on toast. Just fucking uh, different forms of media so, or uh, different forms of social media. So, like, um, WhatsApp groups, um, uh, groups on Facebook, anything like that that you're connected to. Just, just fuck, spread my shit everywhere. Cover the world in my fucking shit. And then number four, go look in the description and you will find four links to four different uh, charitable organizations that are uh, spread around the world so that uh, whatever currency you are most comfortable with, you can donate using that currency. Ultimately, it doesn't really make that much of a difference because if one uh, country cures cancer, they're not going to keep it to themselves. So like, let's say uh, Australia cures cancer and Britain needs the cure, like... Australia Elbean, we hear you came up with quite the spiffing cure for cancer. Could we have a dab? Right, mate. Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Don't want that one. That situation is just never going to happen. So just pick the currency that you're most comfortable with and donate to that one. Or, you know, donate to all four. Fuck it, you know. Show the world how uh, culturally advanced your financial situation is, why not? Cancer.
Agonso. Sure, my auntie had us. <laughs>